finding fish in a lake is often a question I get asked. We've got many tools to help us locate fish. And probably the best set of tools we got out there is our eyes. So we can watch for hatches. We can see insects on the water. We can see swallows, gulls, nighthawks that are dipping down and feeding on emerging insects or newly emerged insects like chronomids, adult chronomids, adult mayflies, adult caddisflies. So birds will tell us a lot of what's going on. And then we're always looking for fish that are moving. And by that I mean fish that are rolling, they're porpoising or they're jumping. They tell us that there's fish there. Another very important tool is the proper use of a fish finder or depth sounder. They not only will tell you the depth you're fishing in, they'll mark thermoclines where the water's stratified and layered up, but they'll also mark fish. And you have to calibrate it properly so that what you see as marked marks on the sounder as fish are indeed fish. And so you've got to read the instructions on fish finders to properly set them up. Otherwise, you can be seeing fish everywhere and, and really it's picking up scatter, it's picking up zooplankton, it's picking up debris suspended in the water column. So read the instructions, they can, be, they can become a very valuable fishing tool. So right now I'm just using the sounder and because it's late summer, early fall, it's still fairly warm out, I know the fish are going to be in slightly deeper water, the more active fish, because the water on the shoals in that shallower 15 feet of water or less is still pretty warm and so they're going to be more comfortable sliding off into 20, 25 feet of water. And I'm just using the, the sounder right now just to cruise over, just run some transects back and forth across areas of the lake that I know generally will, will support fish and to see if I can mark a few fish. And uh, I like to see three or four fish in an area in a short, maybe 100 foot distance. And I'll do some circles in that area just to confirm that there are some fish down there. And so using your sounder in, in um, conjunction with visually seeing fish moving, visually seeing bugs on the surface, or seeing birds dipping and diving um, will help you locate those fish. And again, it's all about where those fish are living, shoal, drop off, deep water zone, those three important uh, habitat zones within the lake. Along with your depth finder or fish finder when you're on a lake to find out the depths you're fishing, it's great to have a contour map. And you can download a lot of contour maps off the gofishbc.com website for various lakes that are stocked in the province. So on this particular lake, we're right, we're right here. We're down in the back end of this channel. So we know it's a 10 foot contour. There's a lot of shallow water in here. So on this one, on this map here, it's, they're, they're uh, generally five foot contours. There's the five foot, 10, 15, uh, and then there's individual depths marked, so 10, 20, 30 feet deep. So the deepest part of this lake is about 36 feet. So we're way down in this channel here and, uh, and fishing, actually we're only in five feet of water right now, so we're way down in there. So contour maps are handy if you don't have a depth sounder and uh, It'll, you can find out where the shoals are, where the shallow water areas are, where the steeper drop-offs are, just by looking at the contours. When the contours are very close together, like here, you know that, uh, that that's a steep drop-off, versus when they're wide apart, like here, you know that that's a very gradual uh, change in, in uh, depth. So, simple tool to have but very useful and can provide a lot of information on where you should be fishing in a lake.